I've had a couple requests for a few additional levels in Floodfill, so I'll do these. I'm not going to go through the entire solving thing like the first video I did because... Excuse me, I, <laughs> I just took a drink of water. Um, it takes a while if you go through step by step how the entire puzzle is solved, but I will point out real quick a where you can find this problem. This is 12. It's one of the earlier levels, and it's one of the first levels, I think, where you have to use four colors to solve the puzzle. And where you find you have to use the four colors are these pieces right here. Um, because of how many neighbors, it's, just, it's the fault of these little jumps like that. If they didn't have these little bridges from this cir circular piece pulling through to this piece, you could probably solve this with three. But because of that little uh, extension, it really increases how many pieces the pe uh, this inner piece touches. By really increases, I mean it increases it by one, but it certainly makes it more difficult to solve. And the way that we'll solve this one, it is a four color one, so you can just go ahead and do... No, don't do that. <clears throat> things like this. You can be green, you can be green, you can be green, and then you can be blue, you can be blue, and you can be blue. So that's all it is to that. Just It's not tricky once you know you can use four colors. And you just you only need to color what, one piece, that fourth color, and everything else works out just fine. So this is one of those puzzles where I would start with the blue and I'd alternate the green pieces um, to the point where you end up with that just there's that one piece left that for whatever reason you can't color. Oop. What were you? You were the red one. Yes, the red one. So you get here. I don't remember. You were orange. That's right. You get here and then there's like, oh, there's no color I can put because it's touching all of them. So I'll just throw red in there. One of the other ones I was asked for, I'm doing these in numerical order rather than the order they were asked. This is 17. The key piece in 17, 17 is also a four color puzzle, but the key piece is this one. Um, it's not where I started, but this is where I found out it's definitely a key piece. And once you know that you have to do four colors, uh, you can just apply the four colors as necessary. I actually started in this piece and just do that, do something like that, and I'll show you where it develops, because that one becomes blue. And then this one would also be blue. See, this one's the orange and green over here, and it's the orange and green over here. And so you'd have these two pieces next to each other that have to be blue. So there, you just throw in that, and that fixes everything. And it's not too difficult to just toss in a couple green pieces like that, and toss in a couple orange pieces. Oop, that one can't be orange. <clears throat> Actually, I've made it so that that one can't be anything. So let's go back and do that again. Uh, you, 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 not you, not you, you, and you. And then green, green. Green, green, and orange. Can't be orange there. Can't be orange there. Orange, orange, orange. <clears throat> and then, like I said, these are the. That's the key piece right there. Because then you, this one is a similar key piece. It ends up having two key pieces because you need a fourth color to solve the puzzle. So there you go. You solve the puzzle. <clears throat> Eighteen, on the other hand, is a three-color puzzle. And I did a text. I put a message uh, explaining how to solve this one, and I did it uh, in a reply to the comment asking me for help on 18, but since I've got another video anyway, I'll do it. This was the key piece for me, and this is the key piece to start with, but the actual key, <laughs> the one that you have to realize is this piece loops around. Once you realize that it loops around, it makes it a bit easier. So we'll start with that one green, so then that one's orange, that one's blue, that one's orange. I'm going to try the ASDF keys here. 
Uh, so that one wants to be green. That one wants to be orange. That one wants to be green. Now here, the problem comes... Oh, and this, this one wants to be not or orange. Thank you. The problem comes in here, because you're looking and none of the pieces seem to be touching two colors anymore. Uh, this one's just against the blue, just against the blue, that's a vertice, so this one's just touching orange, this one's just touching green. But, ah, see how this loops around, such that now this is touching green, and it's touching orange? And that's the key little bit that you have to get, and then you can just quickly uh, fill in the rest of these. Actually, I think you you don't get stuck here because of this one. So that one turns green, that one turns blue, this one now turns green, this one turns orange, this one turns blue, this one turns green, this one turns orange. Um, where else do we have? This one turns blue, this one's green, this one's orange. And then in here, I don't think any of these are touching, but it's easy to figure out just where they go so that they're not the same colors as everything else. So that's how you fix that. And an interesting little bit here, I'm going to open up a new window. And I'm going to do... I know you can't see this because it's up above the recording window. We're going to go to Google, and if you type in Flood Fill Walkthrough, this very first link, which is off screen for you, you can't see it. You just see this little probably oot. But it's K-E-Y-B-O-L dot org. It's a, a, a blog. There, there you can see most of it. Just, you know, the cutoff keyboard dot org. They have the flood fill walkthrough. And the guy talks about, uh, it's a very simple solving algorithm. Find the key shape, fill in the third color at the three color intersections. At some points there will be no such intersections, which means it doesn't matter. And then he's got this handy little video. And guess whose video that is? That's my video. And, you know, he's free to link it. He didn't have to ask permission or anything, and I'm not upset or anything. I think it's actually kind of awesome that my little uh, video ended up on this website presented as a walkthrough for flood fill. That's kind of awesome.